the reason why Sir John is in this coffin, folks, is because going back almost a year ago, uh, those um, wonderful members of the Black Lives Matter movement, when they would descend upon Queen's Park, they would try to vandalize the statue. They would throw paint upon the statue. Um, thank God they don't have the engineering wherewithal in order to tear down the statue because they would have done that if they could. So the... Um, well, basically, Queen's Park bent the knee to the mob. Can you imagine? They actually decided that because the statue of our first prime minister is so triggering to these people, we will kind of quasi-cancel it uh, by putting it in a box uh, away from their site. David Menzies for Rebel News here in Toronto. And folks, I'm standing in front of Queen's Park and I'm standing in front of the statue of our founding father of Confederation. That would be Sir John A. Macdonald. Well, sort of. As you can see, there's no majestic statue here, just a plywood coffin entombing the statue of Sir John A. And it's a good thing you can't see above here because his head is shrouded in a garbage bag. Now, if you can imagine, this was done under the watch of Premier Doug Ford, allegedly a conservative, but then again, uh, we might have questions about that. Remarks of, oh, what was it again? Standing shoulder to shoulder with uh, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau. If you can think back to February, do you think that the federal government was justified in using the Emergencies Act to lift the occupation of downtown Ottawa? Well, we have some of the top officials with the OPP testifying and uh, yes, I, I stood shoulder to shoulder with the, the Prime Minister. It is an international disgrace that the founding father of a country would be boarded up like that. And we're now into what, the second year? And how odd, how perverse has the transformation of Doug Ford been? Because when Victoria, BC, who was ahead of the curve way back in 2018, decided to take down their statue of Sir John A. Macdonald, Premier Ford said, hey, send it to Queen's Park. We'll put it on the lawn here. John A. Macdonald plays a central role in our national story. He did more to found our nation than any other father of Confederation. And in fact, we would not be debating here today without Sir John A. That's why our government wrote to the Mayor of Victoria to say we'd be happy to give Sir John A. a new home here in Ontario. And he's gone from that to boarding up the statue. It remains boarded up. And if you read the plaques on the side, folks, this is what it says. Quote, the Legislative Assembly of Ontario is a place for debate and deliberation on issues that matter in our province. Though we cannot change the history we have inherited, we can shape the history we wish to leave behind. The Speaker of the Legislative Assembly is considering how the depictions of those histories in the monuments and statuary on the Assembly's grounds can respect all of our diverse cultures and peoples." End quote. Well, what, what are they talking about history and changing history and inheriting history? They're making history with this shameful boarding up of Sir John A. Macdonald. And they're talking about debate. How long do they need to debate this issue? We're into the second year of this boarded up disgrace. And yet they continue to uh, dick around and hoping that nobody will notice. Well, I'll tell you this, I notice this. A lot of Canadians notice this and Doug Ford, Shame on you boarding up the image of Sir John A. Macdonald as though this is something to be ashamed of. No, my friend, the shame falls on you. For Rebel News, I'm David the Menzoid Menzies. Well, folks, you know you trust Rebel News to give you the other side of the story, and that's what we're doing here. But you know what? It comes at a cost. This truck is about $1,400. And if you can kindly go to stophiding.ca, that's stophiding.ca, you can not only sign our petition compelling Doug Ford to go and testify at the Emergencies Act inquiry, perhaps you can also kick in a buck or three just to cover our expenses. My thanks in advance.